previous episodes, we learned techniques used to draw a cylinder. It is very important because we see this simple form in many of the things around us every day. So now we're going to apply the cylinder to realism and see what kinds of realistic images can come out of what we know about the cylinder. What we're doing in this particular drawing is trying to create a chair. If you notice, when you cut down through the cylinder and across through the middle of the cylinder, you get a curved cylinder shape on the bottom and a cubical shape towards the top. So another realistic subject comes from stacking cylinders together. Notice the number ones that I had on there. Those are all parallel lines. They're parallel, but they progressively get smaller. And you can see now it's going to turn into a birthday cake. Another cylindrical kind of curved line cylinders turns into a tree. And you can see that they're bending around, getting smaller, but you can see the cylinder top to them. A whole bunch of cylinders developing at one time show how many different realistic kinds of shapes cylinders can turn into. They all start off looking exactly alike, little details added to them, turn them into cars and chairs and hats and coins and tables, boats. Once again, look around yourself and see how many cylinder shapes you see. I'll bet you can see another five shapes that are cylinders just from where you're sitting right now. Other shapes that come out of the cylinder are much more complicated. You can see these lines are all projecting toward that point in the middle. It's going to turn into a castle, and everybody needs to know how to draw a castle. But all of these lines that are aiming inward go toward that center point. There's extra rings cut out. If you can keep the bottom of the little notches in the castle all running with a single line, and later you can erase those lines. Windows, again, put into the curved side of the cylinder. Showing depth helps you to know where they're located on the cylinder. And we can hook on another castle and make it a much more unique shape. See how the windows are all fitting across on a line on the top of the window and a line down on the bottom? Later you erase that. It's just fun to explore and see what kinds of things can come out of forcing yourself to stick with one of these solids and see what kinds of realistic images you can get. Welcome back to the studio. Now we're going to use the, all the knowledge you have about cylinders, like these guys, and apply them to the realistic world. And I'm gonna, I made a little sketch last night of an ice cream parlor and that I'm going to play off of. This is just a real quick sketch. And I want to uh, do this drawing for you and see, see uh, how we can use all of these cylinders. So to start with, everything is, that I'm going to draw is based on a cylinder. And I'm going to start with, uh, with the table, a big cylinder table. And I want to make sure that that table is square. If it tilts a little bit, it just doesn't look very good. And all right, and then we're going to come off with the thickness of the table. Try and match that above line with it. Curve it right into there. So far we're doing okay. And we've got the basic top of the table. Now, to find the, how the, the base of the table, you find the center of this up in here, and you can even do a straight up and down line to help yourself to start with. And then come on both sides of that and turn that into a cylinder, too. So then I'm going to erase all of this. So I know that that looks like it's going to hold the table up. It's in the right place, not off to the side or something. All right, so we have that. And then we need a larger cylinder outside that. And a larger one yet outside that to stabilize the table. All right, this needs to come over just a little bit. And 
then usually tables have little nubbins down on the bottom so that it keeps it sort of balanced out. So anyway, we've got a table in the ice cream parlor so far. And um, the first thing I'm going to put in there is uh, somebody's birthday, okay? So we've got a birthday cake. I'm going to start with a big birthday cake. And one like we all like, three tiers to it, like so. And... And we need a little plate to hold it on. So that's kind of a cylinder guy within itself. And of course, we candles are all cylinders. So if I were, I'm going to do one that's real, very detailed, that's a little cylinder here, like so. Maybe a couple of them. I don't know how old we are on this one, but we need a little flame up on the top, like so. And Somehow I'll erase that little skinny line in there, but I'll just try it with my fingers. That look, works pretty good. All right, and you can imagine you could have a lot of candles on the top, and then maybe you're writing here, happy birthday or something would be working across, and remember it has to flow with the cake. It's nice that the cake is bigger on the bottoms because birthday is a little bit bigger. All right, so we got the, the cake going there and could have lots of extra designs that you might add to it. Um, along with this, we need a, I, I think some people like to eat donuts, so I'm going to, and donuts are cylindrical in a very different way. So we have a donut here, has the hole in the middle, and it doesn't overly look like a donut until you take a bite out of it. And once you take a bite out of it, then you start to see the donutness of it just a little bit better. All right, so now we've got a donut there. We need, uh, oh, a glass of, of, of uh, pop of some kind here. So we'll have a glass here. Oop, that's a little too big. We'll make it just a little bit smaller like that. And we're going to tip the cylinder in slightly because glasses usually come in slightly like that. And we have a little glass of something and straws are cylinders. So we're going to put a little straw in there too. We have a little straw coming into the... If you see if it's transparent, you kind of see a little bit of stuff. There'd be a maybe that's how much, and the straw should kind of go into that. So you can kind of see there's a little liquid in there. Okay, and then also looking at my thing. Oh, yeah, newspaper. Somebody's read the newspaper ahead of this, and I'm going to start with it. It also allows me to do the spiral. So there's a newspaper kind of rolling off here. I'm going to take it back in space like that. My newspapers all end up all rolled up anyway, it seems like. And these all go back in space like the other lines do. And say that runs off here, curves back in and comes back up into there. So it's kind of laying on the size. Maybe it has something about news in it that's on the side. And of course, if you're like me, you need glasses. So we're going to lay a pair of glasses. These are going to be old-fashioned glasses that are, are totally oval. And the hook will go like that. And we come in with little hooks like this. So the glasses sitting there. The front part of that is the cylinder part. Mine, mine, mine aren't quite that type anymore, but um, and we need a hot dog. A hot dog is like a, a long cylinder guy. All right, so it looks something like this to start with. And then we're going to open it up. Well, maybe we'll just put the hot dog right in there, have that run, and then put another, the bottom uh, part of the hot dog on there too. And sometimes if that's a little bit darker, it just shows up as a hot dog better. 
So maybe the hot dog would be there. If we do that, we need mustard. And mustard is a cylinder, a few cones in it too, like that, and a little loop like this. And that might sit on the back, like so, behind the, it could, we could squirt a little mustard over there, but we won't do that. Uh, I'm going to build a, put this into a room, too, so that we have a room back here. Um, and I'm going to stick with the system that we use, straight up and down lines. I'm going to let, let that run right off the page. And then somewhere about here, uh, it's going to come back in space. Does that look? It doesn't quite fit. Let me move that up a little bit, like there. And so this is going to be the back, the back wall will come across here of a room. So, and while we're at it, let's make sure we get a, a chair in here. And we want to build a cylinder chair. So there's the top of the chair. There's the thickness of it. And I'm going to have it go from here to up there. So we're going to come up in the air like this and go like so. So we kind of have the cylinder there. This would probably be cylinder-ish shape right along the edge there. The, some of our contour surface lines would help us get that rounded off shape there. And then we need legs coming down. Let's, we're going to stick with cylinder legs too. One there, one over on the back side, and one in the back, and one in the back over here. So the bottom of this, if this ends here, we'll have that come straight across to there. And then going back in space, looks like I should be about here, going back in space. I'm going to move this one over to here, because that makes it more going back in space there too. So we got kind of a chair to sit on. Make sure it's running straight up and down. Looks might slanting a little. I'm going to put I'm going to put a uh, window on this too. That goes up like this. Cuts across. We maybe won't show the end of it, but out here I want to have some cylinder things showing too. Here's a tree. There's a little landscape back here. Let's see. The tree is going to come down like this grow up like that and this poor tree got cut off mostly so we could show the cylinderness of it but we'll just make up an excuse of maybe it was in the way of wires or something so they come along and trimmed it off for us so all of the ends of the branches are are also cylinders so now we've got that out there we better put a line back here so we know there's a landscape back behind it um, in the back, let's uh, make a cylinder ca uh, counter, and so I'm going to just run that all the way back like so, and cut it off slightly. Now this is like an ice cream parlor, so we have to have uh, a, a place in the background where people can sit on their stools and eat their ice cream. So there's one, there'd be a whole line of them running across here. Make sure that keeps running. And run, these should be running parallel. I, I hope you're drawing along with me. That is the, the deal here, you know. So you, you're supposed to always be trying to draw the same kind of stuff. So, and these would run, you know, you could continue these all the way across. And let's just say real quickly here, we're going to put a dartboard up here. And it would go back in space. And you know how dartboards look in the front. They have all the different breakdowns of, of that. And we got to have a dart coming at it. That's a cylinder too. There's a dart coming at it. And the end of the, the dart is here. And the little feathers coming out like so. And it's going, whoosh, coming back from over there. Some, some kids over there throwing it. So uh, it kind of gives you, I need a little bit of a base to hold this down, maybe one over here too, to hold it uh, in place. But as you can see, everything is cylinders. 
and uh, and, clay, uh, uh, and there could be you know uh, all the other stuff <clears throat> that's generally on the table. Your salt shakers and your uh, uh, all kinds of different cups and coffee cups could be there too. Uh, so this kind of gives you an idea of how you can use those cylinders that we've been talking about. So stay tuned and thanks for watching this episode. Appreciate it very much.